when I went at West Watson, I was the first person that went at him. Like I, I, I didn't know anybody that even had enough platform to do it. And then once I did it, everybody else followed suit with their own facts. But I came with mine. I ain't got no problems with him. But I did have a problem with him lying about Oklahoma because my peoples was involved and they was, a lot of people was hurt. So that was the only problem I had with him. Other than that, this had this video took place in 2019. Go. See, it's a, it was a person that came on the show on a Big Hurt Fresh Out. He had everybody full. I mean, everybody. Wes, he had everybody full. They say for my divorce court fans. So if you're a divorce court fan or Steve Wilco, y'all can change because this is strictly big hurt fans. Had everybody eating out his hand. I knew when you go on big hurt, like, we're dealing with convicts. Man, you know how quick a comedy you tell a story, and it's gonna it, it'll it's gonna stories ping pong because people want to people hear stories and they want to validate them like oh he said he did this or he said that person was about that and then when you find out you investigate and you find out that that person is really about that <laughs> that's like a that's like a, a, a that's like a cha ching and it don't be a whole lot of cha chings. Don't be a whole lot of chick chings. So when this person came off and I heard him speak, I was like, man, come on. First of all, the whites wasn't running nothing. Not nothing. And I mean, if they was, it was like they own. But as far as he come out, like he a head buster. Head buster. Motherfucking headbusters in the pen. No, no other headbusters. That mean if you go hard like that, that mean every wood on every wood in CDC that's about that life would know you and validate for you. But the way that they is is when you tell the stories, it's people in them stories. It's people in them stories that you telling, and if it ain't accurate. It works against you. I'm going to give you an example. I told a story about when a young Crip, when a young Crip nigga knocked out JD on the yard. Had that nigga sleep forever. I told that story, though. Man, the young nigga that was there, because I was there, tapped in and was like, hey, that was me. I'm the one knocked JD out. That's what's up. Because I'm giving, you know, I'm, it's a form of giving props. And you know what? If that story would have been off even a little bit, it would have been the opposite. It would have been like, you bitch-ass nigga, you lying, nigga. What the fuck, nigga? This shit ain't, nigga, you... And it wouldn't have been... It would have been debunked. When you come in with these stories, you're going to have to end the same way. And then you're going to hide it by saying, you know, I'm about the positivity. No, you're not about the positivity. Because your stories is negative as hell. I told a story, a war story, the first story I ever did. I didn't even like that. I didn't even like that, the story that, like, I, my introduction was that war story. I didn't even like that. I cringe every time I see it. So I, I looked at it as I was bragging. Bragging. But yeah, you come in and you bragging in every last one of your stories and, and they was going for it. If you would have been solid, like, okay, example, I called, I talked to one of the homies that was in Oklahoma. He was doing things. He doing things in Oklahoma at this time. Now, if you doing things, you up here because everything is controlled by drugs, everything. So if you a white boy and you up here, then you going to meet the other dudes up top because the diggers down here, be, they be doing shit. They be robbing each other. They be late on their debts. They be threatening each other. And the dudes up here got to iron their problems out. And for him, 
My homie Dr. B. Chu was saying that you wasn't involved in nothing. You wasn't no shot caller or nothing like that. You was just a big ass white boy. Big ass white boy. So, what I got right here is an account of what happened in Oklahoma. And you tell me what you think. Three boys in the back, back, uh, uh, no, four boys in the back in our building because they came out of the cell. When, when the damn popped their doors because they seen what was going on in the uh, yard. All them fools got out. They banged them like it's bad. But they, none of them died. West said you know, people died. Is, somebody that got somebody that has the massive food, it's kind of like a, a preacher. Like you, you, like you in front of the church and you letting everybody know the preacher is not a man of God, like you said. Right, right. He lying. He lying. He, he got the whole thing. The thing is, once you start off a story and he lie off the beginning, oh yeah, he, he already, he already, in, 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 he already in the story. So now I know you're a liar. Yeah. And that means, and not only that is, if you tell a story like that, that means you don't, you wasn't there, and you wasn't in. It. Right. You, were in it. you wasn't part of that. You couldn't have been part of that because you would have known why it started. Everybody know it started. Everybody know it started over an accident. Everybody know it started because the Asians and blacks was getting down. Asians and, and blacks. You know, the motherfucking uh, 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 Southsider outside the door. And I'm going to tell you who the Southsider tried to, the, the Southsider, when they, you know who they try to take off from? They try to take off uh, 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 Paul Jr. From, from motherfucking Fifth Street, Richmond. Paul Jr., crazy ass Paul Jr. Paul Jr. will tell you the story. Paul Jr., look, because when they turned around, they were like, oh, it's such a black. Paul Jr. was like, what? Paul Jr. didn't see him with the black Asians. So next thing you know, Paul Jr. was like, oh, they want to tell the fool in the gym. So Paul Jr. was trying to tell the fool in the gym. Tell the blacks, like, hey, man, they tripping. They were in the mess and told folks. And Paul Jr. them got on their messages. Yeah. They were like, that ain't even what happened. I'm telling you, it's... it's it, it, was, it was all over a mistake. So if he, if he started off saying, oh, the Mexicans had to get on the blacks or the blacks got on the mess, you lying, you weren't there. Exactly. You lying, you weren't so there. So you see how it's not you lining, lining up. There. This is somebody that was in it. I'm going to put a comment on that. He lying, he wasn't there. It all started over, it started over some, he lying, he couldn't have been there and he wasn't there because everybody knows it started over some Asians to try to bust some, some, some Chris. And the Chris took off on the Asians because the nigga would have, the thing about it is everybody was doing a triple CMS shit to get out of there, right? Because they know it was on when we came off. Nigga, the nigga that started it and did the, did the shit, they were from 60s or something like that. When they went back inside, the room, they told me, got on their shit, nigga, stabbed them all up. Then he all started a riot and then did the triple CMS PC shit to get back here. Nigga, these niggas was marked. Yeah. That's what I'm telling you. Is that right here? That. What you said, see, if I, I wish I don't know what, what app to let me record, but I'm going to figure it out. This guy right here, we ain't got to say the name or like that, but I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to be like, this is, this is for my folks that's still inside. Listen, 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 this is all, this is, this is all you have to say. I can, I'll say it myself, bro, if you want my, you can report it. All you got to do, all you got to do is say this. If a motherfucker start off his story off of a lie, I'm not listening to none of it. That's why I didn't even watch it. I didn't. Why would I watch that? You lying to me, nigga. You started off lying, so I know you from the line and telling some shit to make you look good. Yeah. You lying, nigga. You, you're not even telling You, from the beginning, you try to make it look like the blacks and you, the messengers took off on a black. Nigga, you're lying. Mm -hmm. But anybody that was really there to tell the story, nah, man, it was an accident. The blacks and the agents was, was, went off in the front kitchen. Some Mexicans outside seen it, and they went to the back. Then you can start your story. Then I might believe it, but you started your story offline. Period. Yeah. Now, hey, so why would I believe? That's the first thing I said. I was like, man, that ain't that ain't what how, how good say it started off top. Right. And then, there's nobody. But he dresses it up. He dresses it up with the, with paperwork and footage for what the paperwork. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. Man, listen. He's doing any, I can go do that. He, he's, that's what they're doing. This is, uh, you know what that's called? It's the same shit that, 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 ah, that's what I put on there. I swear to God, you know what I put on there? I kill him with this. This is how you kill a nigga like that. I would use snippets from, 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 uh, Trump. That's fake news. <laughs> I use it all white person. Nigga, that's fake news. And I put on, you get to the, my voice or any voice. 
directly from some anybody that was really in that ride going to tell you, period, point blank, that ride started because the Crips took off on an Asian and the Mexican made a mistake and thought it was them. Anybody that's got off the, the, the story telling you anything different, you never let them finish the story because they lied to you. Period. Okay, so. What's your name? What? What is your name? Tony! Fuck you, Tony! 